And this morning, there's a lot to get you caught up on when it comes to pandemic safety protocols. We're now seeing mask and vaccination mandates on the federal, state, and local levels. So here's what you need to know. As expected, President Biden announced that all federal employees and contractors must be vaccinated or wear a mask and get tested weekly. He also directed the Department of Defense to get the COVID vaccine on the list of required shots for military members. Then starting on Monday, all California state and health care workers must show proof of vaccination or face weekly testing. New this morning, an internal document from the CDC says the Delta variant spreads as easily as chickenpox, Ebola, and the common cold in both the vaccinated and unvaccinated. That document that the CDC director confirmed is scheduled to be published today. And as the number of Delta variant cases continues to rise in our area, masks are now required indoors for everyone vaccinated or not in Sacramento County. As ABC 10's Luke Clary explains, that's effective right now. We're heading in the right direction. Just six weeks after and, uh, California's reopening, health officials issuing a new mask mandate as Sacramento County's daily case rate rises dramatically. Officials say it's driven in part by the new Delta variant. Well, this one is a lot more contagious. And that's what we're seeing is that it started spreading, especially among the unvaccinated. So why should everyone, including vaccinated people, wear a mask when health officials say 90 percent of cases right now are among the unvaccinated? But we still have 10 percent that are vaccinated, so we know that there is some risk and so the need to take additional preventive measures. Breakthrough cases, rare instances when fully vaccinated people contract COVID anyway. The CDC says they could spread the virus to others. But even with the rise of the Delta variant, county data shows this remains a pandemic of the unvaccinated. Last month of the 132 COVID hospitalizations, only six were fully vaccinated. And among the 18 people who died of COVID, all of them were unvaccinated. So really the message is get the vaccine before it's too late. Um, given the rate of spread in our community, the choice to vaccinate or not to vaccinate um, is likely to the choice to eventually get COVID-19. So what about other area counties? Yolo County's indoor mask mandate also begins today. That's for everyone while in a public place, regardless of vaccination status. San Joaquin County has not made any changes to its mask guidelines, so just those who are unvaccinated need to wear a mask inside. But fully vaccinated people are strongly encouraged to do so. In Stanislaus and pa Placer counties, there's also no mask mandate. And in Nevada County, it's recommending everyone wear masks indoors regardless of their vaccination status as well. COVID-19 cases are going up just as kids are getting ready to return to school. But Natomas Unified School District is working to make sure it's providing resources to keep students healthy. That's both physically and mentally. ABC 10 Zach Fuentes joins us live now from Natomas, where the district is hosting a pop-up vaccine clinic today. Zach, just in time. Just in time, Bria. Yeah, that clinic's going to be happening today at the District Service Center. That's 1931 Arena Boulevard. All of it is part of their efforts to make the return to school for kids a healthy one. And these events are going to be open to everyone. The Natomas Unified School District has been hosting vaccine clinics for months now. Now, after today's pop-up clinic, there's going to be a health fair right here in Natomas High School tomorrow. That includes not just the COVID vaccines, but other immunizations, health screenings, and a free bag of groceries. The event is geared towards students in the district, but they say this event is open to anyone, kids and adults. All of this leading up to the start of the new school year, which is August 12th, not too far away, a day that Natomas Unified School District says they've been working hard to plan for throughout the summer months. We're excited to have our kids back on campus. Um, we're excited to just get going and, you know, welcome them, welcome them, get them reacquainted for those who did not come back um, to their campus. And for some, first time being on some of their campuses. Yeah, August 12th will be a day of first. Now, so far, the Natomas Unified School District says they've been able to give out 30,000 vaccinations to the community, and they are ready to give a lot more. So again, today's pop-up clinic is happening from 8 to 11 at the Natomas Unified School District Service Center at 1931 Arena Boulevard. Then tomorrow's health fair with the vaccinations and then immunizations and groceries is tomorrow from 8 to 3 at Natomas High School here on Fong Ranch Road. Now, walk-ins are available, but they do suggest that you book a slot. You can do that online. We have the links for that at abc10.com slash links. A lot of good information, Zach. Thank you. We're